what it do my fellow virgo boo boos i am genie welcome back to magenta tarot messages we're gonna tap in and see what you should be aware of all right i've already shuffled the cards i've already meditated over this energy and you already know what it is so let's just begin and if you don't know what it is leave it for the ones who do all right i like to thank everybody for those likes comments subscribes booking those personal readings and just being here and giving me your energy to read for uh, i feel very blessed to be able to be in this position and i thank everybody for helping me get here and grow my channel don't don't think i didn't notice that subscriber count going up okay don't don't think i didn't notice y'all out here donating to my channel i don't think i don't notice y'all out here um booking those personal readings and still riding with me i love it and i thank you all all right let's see what you should be aware of let's hop right in let me stop let me stop rambling but i feel good okay i feel good what should Virgo be aware of? What should the energy Virgo should be aware of? What is the energy Virgo should be aware of? A sister. Okay, we got a family member here. Sister energy. Sister. What is the energy Virgo should be aware of? moon in earth somebody has a moon in earth okay what is the energy virgo should be aware of i defend you in your absence and a hidden and quitted energy up top we have very honest all right let's see how this plays out into the reading tell me about this sister energy for virgo Tell me about this sister energy for Virgo. Tell me about the sister energy for Virgo. Sister energy for Virgo. We have the networker. Okay, enhances unity through sharing of information, engender social awareness and empathy. All right, conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear and falsehood. There is a sister family member here. I feel like this is the type of person who goes around gossiping, okay? Uh, this, is a, this is the type of energy that uh, tells everybody's gossip to everybody else. This is the, the person that can't keep your name out your mouth, can't keep your family member's name out your mouth. They're always talking about what the family is doing, um, spreading information, sharing things about people and what they're doing for no reason. All right, tell me about this moon and earth energy for Virgos. Moon and earth energy for Virgos. I only want one card, but we got pioneer and goddess energy. Um, moon and earth energy for Virgos. There it is. The gambler. All right, somebody is, um, <clears throat> sorry about my stuffy nose. I was um, crying on that last video. Um, it was just some beautiful energy that came and fell in this room. Um, that reading was beautiful, so go check it out. Okay, go check that out. Um, but with the moon and earth, we have a gambler willingness to follow the intuition even when others doubt you there's somebody here that everybody always doubts but this person um, follows their intuition they go and do whatever they want here type of energy okay this could be good and bad hidden and quitted energy for virgo hidden and quitted energy for virgo Okay, we have the shapeshifter and the trickster. All right, so I almost want to keep these two cards, but I'm only going to keep one card, please. Please describe this person with one card. Hit it and quit it energy. Look at this. Avenger and the slave. I'm not liking this energy at all. Um, hit it and quit it energy for Virgos. There it is. 
We have the healer, passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and soul, ability to help transform pain into healing. Okay, so I have a feeling, Virgo, somebody wanted to hit an inquiry because you were this healer. They wanted to they wanted to trick you maybe to make you believe that they're a healer because we, we got trickster, we got slave, we got um, a lot of weird energy for this person. So I feel like somebody wanted to take advantage of your mind, body, and soul, who you are, the way you transform pain. I feel like somebody hit it one time or hit it one, two, three good times here, Virgo, and they realized how transformational your energy was. And now they they, uh, they desire something for you, from you, defend you in your absence. What is this energy defending Virgo in their absence? Defend you in your absence. We have the beggar. Okay, confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakens the spiritual authority of humanity, compassion, and self-esteem, defends you in your back in your absence here. And beggar, this could go two ways. Somebody could want you. Um, they could be this beggar energy. They could be somebody who 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 can't survive on their own, who has humility, compassion, and self-esteem issues. Or this is this is you, Virgo, begging the divine to defend you in your absence here. Um, awakens you to spiritual authorities. I feel like you may have been praying to the divine here. All right, we'll see how that turns out. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's hop right into the tarot. Okay. Tell me about this network your energy for Virgos sister networker energy for Virgos. Okay, immediately. We <laughs> have the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah. All right. Somebody's, their first thought is to gossip. Their first thought is to share information. Their first thought is when you, um, they're really ambitious. They have quick thinking. Okay. So their first thought when you share information with this person is the five of swords is how do I compete with this? How do I conflict with this? How do I spread this conflicting information? How do I defeat this person and win at all costs? There's a family member out here. It could be a sister, could be a brother, um, somebody you're related to, even step sis, or you know, somebody you call sis. Um, um, okay, um, this could be half sister as well. I just got. Um, but there is somebody their first. Their first instinct, when you tell them information, their first ambitious thought is, how do I spread this information and make this person look less than me? How do I spread this information and make this person look like they have more problems than what I'm going through? How do I spread this information and make this person smear their name? It's a smear. Somebody likes to smear the name of their, their family members so then they don't seem as bad, so they don't seem as uh, fucked up, so they don't seem like they have... Um, as many problems mm. okay and I feel with the with the world card here Virgo you have noticed that uh, your information is spread by somebody somebody's always saying lies or always saying um, uh, taking things out of context to make you feel to make others feel like they're competing with you like they like the conflict here somebody really their first thought is to have conflict okay their first thoughts uh, their first quickest thought of with information is how can I bring conflict how can I continue to conflict how can I keep the drama going um Virgo and with the world card you you're like fuck that shit um ending uh, with the world card here, Virgo, I feel spirit wants you to put a completion uh, with this person by stop giving them your information, stop mingling around them here. Um, but, but this person is watching you, okay? So you could have already separated yourself from this person because their first thought is always conflict, defeat, when at all costs, spreading lies, gossiping, smearing. So you could have already separated from this person and with the page of swords and the hermit card, they are watching you in isolation. Okay, they are watching you um, withdraw, even though you are not giving them any of your information. You're not telling them any anything here. They're still watching you and talking about you for some dumbass reason. Okay, so spirit wants you to be aware of that. 
we're going to clarify at the end of what you should really be aware about with this person. Um, talk about the moon card and the gambler here. Moon and earth and gambler energy. Moon and earth and gambler energy. The queen of swords, the six of wands and the ace of wands. Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands. This is giving me a Cloud Chaser as well. It could be a, a, an Aquarius in your energy. Um, a, a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody who has their moon in Earth. This person follows their intuition even when people doubt them. And with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Wands, they're following their intuition. They they use their judgment. They use their intuition for pri praise, for fame here. With the Ace of Wands for their desire to get what they desire. Huh. Tell me about this energy. The Queen of Swords the six of wands and the ace of wands the king of wands and the queen of wands okay okay so there could have been somebody here in your energy there could be a queen of Queen of Swords here and your energy, who is getting a lot of praise, who's getting a lot of recognition publicly. Okay, they publicly get a praise and um, recognition here, but they desire a relationship. It's almost like they desire the King of Wands or the Queen of Wands. They, res they desire some type of uh, twin flame relationship, some type of marriage hmm. yeah it's giving me a divorced person who's publicly divorced who desires to be to have the relationship that you have to have a relationship to be in a relationship hmm. they may be publicly divorced but they still desire somebody even when other people doubt them, even when other people are telling them, no, nah, this isn't right, somebody may still follow their intuition and get back into a relationship. Okay, so there could be somebody who publicly separated from somebody, but secretly still with somebody, secretly still want somebody, still desires to be in that relationship. Weird. Um, we're going to have to clarify. Tell me about the hidden and quitted and healer energy for Virgos. Hit it and quit it and heal their energy for Virgos. Three of Wands, somebody at a distance. Three of Wands, somebody you turned your back on. The Queen of Pentacles, yeah, this is definitely you. Seven of Cups, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew the healer energy would be you, Virgo. Okay. Tell me about the hit it and quit it. Tell me about the hit it and quit it part. A eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Okay. Okay. The the page of wands. Alrighty, alrighty. There could have been somebody who um, had a sexual encounter with you. Um, and throughout this sexual encounter, encounter, they connected with your energy in such a way they realized that you were a healer. They realized that you were repairing them in some way. They, they realized your energy helped their mind, body, and soul. It's like you. it was it was some earth-shattering punani, okay? It was some earth-shattering dingling here. It, it was some um, angel cooch, okay? It, it, <laughs> It was it was uh, it was an angel interaction with you here, Virgo. They may have hit it and quit it, and then turned your back, turned their back against you. Okay, to create some type of illusion to make you work hard for them, like they were the opportunity. Yeah, there's a trickster here, Virgo. 
there's a trickster who thought that they can get you to chase them they could get you to come towards them they could get you they could put it down on you i'm here put it down on me put it down on me all right somebody thought uh, they that they could get you addicted almost like if they if they hit it and quit it with you that you would come towards the illusion and work hard for them like they're the prize virgo um but in reality i figure i feel like you turned your back on this person all right and this has made them uh this has made them look at the options that they have to work hard to get you all right so it's like tables turn energy um they realize that you weren't gonna chase them <laughs> and now they're here trying to uh put in work to get that get that healer back get that get that energy back get you back right get back right okay um I defend you in your honor. I defend you in your absence. Beggar energy. Justice card. I knew it was the divine. I knew it was spiritual law. Okay. I knew it was justice. Okay. Justice coming in for you. Um, you may have been begging. You may have been begging the divine, begging spirituality, begging the universe to come help you. And they have been uh, defending you in your absence, even when you were uh, unaware. There's been blessings and protection that you were unaware of, Virgo. There has been moves that have been made uh, spiritually that you have been unaware of. They have been defending you this whole time justice card um but they cannot stop you from making free will choices that makes it worse but i feel um justice has been here on your side the whole time yeah four of wands energy all right justice the four of wands the four of swords four of four coming out here virgo justice four of wands four of swords the answer of prayers i just heard the answers of prayers too many cards here uh the answers of prayers here one more card and there it is the eight of cups the magician at the bottom all right here so virgo i feel like spirit guys ancestors universe um spiritual law spiritual factors have been defending you in your absence even though when even when you weren't aware of this even when you thought you were all alone even when you thought you were deserted by the divine they have been doing things to keep it the level of uh spirituality balanced to keep things balanced to keep the scales balanced in your favor and type of way and with the four of wands you'll be able to recognize you'll be able to uh celebrate this they have been giving you support here they have been giving you security here spirit guides the ancestors have never left you all right they've been here supporting you even though even when you were down even when you were rejuvenating even when you were praying and begging for the divine to help you walk away from something help you walk away from somebody they have been working this whole entire time to get your justice they have been working this whole entire time to make things go into your favor and i feel like this is future energy virgo you will soon see that things will start going and working out for you they've been defending you this whole entire time all right okay so let's see how this energy is clarified <clears throat> clarify this sister the sister who likes to gossip for virgo um separated themselves from the sister who likes to gossip so virgo doesn't give them any other energy the sister who likes to gossip who is watching virgo watching virgo to see what they can spread to see what they can say see what they can do we have the knight of pentacles the four of swords the star card the Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands, okay? So with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, Virgo, again illuminating that um, you are in your abundant energy. You're living off the fruits of your labor self-sufficiently. You have high standards here. But with the Four of Swords, you may have been resting, taking a rest to heal, uh, taking a rest to heal, getting away from your family, separating yourself from your family and the past energies that may have fucked you over here and putting you back into your Queen of Wands energy, putting you back into your courage and confidence. So I feel what this is saying here 
is there somebody in your life that just likes to talk shit they like to smear their first thought is how do i bring conflict towards somebody their first thought is how do i uh, hurt this person even more so virgo you've decided to separate it your separate yourself from this person and they have noticed you separated they're watching you separate and they also notice that you are doing better than what they are this is giving me like older sister somebody who's older than you that's supposed to be in a better situation than you that's supposed to have more than you do but instead they don't so they look at you and gossip they look at you and start conflict they look at you and judge your life so then they can feel good about themselves in some type of way um but virgo you have separated yourself from family to gain back your confidence to be independent so this is what this is saying here is that um this is the time for healing this is the time for rejuvenation this is not the time to deal with family members who like to start drama, who like to start conflict. So Spirit wants you to separate yourself, worry about your healing, and um, <laughs> and that on that, Virgo, and get back into your uh, courage and confidence energy. This could also tell me that this person sees you self-sufficient. Um, they see that you're resting and healing, so now they want to heal a situation with you okay they they, they this person noticed that you have become more self-sufficient in your lonesome so now and that you separated from them so now they want to heal the past so then they can seem like they're positive like they're passionate like they love you like like they want to be a part of your life here virgo but don't fall for the trick somebody's first thought is to conflict somebody's first thought is to gossip somebody's first thought is to smear your name here and um that's not the type of energy you should be aligning yourself with all right tell me about this gambler energy it could be another family member another person that you know who is getting a public separation for somebody but they still desire to be in a relationship with somebody this is giving me um domestic violence it's giving me uh, karmic relationship it's giving me um terrible relationship here three of cups and the nine of cups wow um One more card. Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups energy. Okay. Yeah, we got the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Nine of Swords in the reverse, and the Hermit card. Okay, so there could have been somebody who's getting a public separation here, but still desires to be in a relationship. Um, with the Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands, this person could still be gathering with this person, or it's their wish fulfillment to still gather with somebody. But with the Three of Wands in the reverse, there is obstacles, there's frustration, there's stagnancy, all right, um, in releasing this. And releasing the worry and releasing the the term oil and seeking outside help the hermit card and they may need your help virgo okay so what this is giving me is somebody may be um suffering from uh what is that called stockholm syndrome okay um stockholm syndrome where somebody was abused they were used they were manipulated in such a way they have a codependency in such a way that they they have instinctual things that tells them to run back to the past instinctual um thoughts that make them want to run back to the past here because of the separation the obstacles the inner term oil it would take to really separate from this person virgo and they need your help here okay they need your enlightenment uh, they need your knowledge okay um so spirit is asking you to help your sister this could, could be a sister this could be a friend somebody in your family somebody you're close to you know they're going through a public uh separation after domestic violence and you know they still have a desire to be with this person because of stockholm syndrome they know and and, and the obstacles it would take to um be alone here and they need help virgo they need your knowledge to help them uh free themselves from the 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 the, the, the anxiety they, they need your help to seek outside help they need your help to release the term oil of stockholm syndrome so spirit wants you to help somebody here okay it's giving me pray for him energy with the hermit 
It's giving me to give them your spiritual enlightenment, to encourage them, okay, to help them get their confidence back. All right. Healer energy. Hit it and quit it. So yeah, somebody hit it and quit it with an earth angel here. Um, and you've turned your back against the illusions that they casted. And now they're working hard to have some type of new opportunity with you, Virgo. Um, tell me about this person. Clarify this energy. Uh, this person is working hard to have a new opportunity with Virgo. After hitting it and quitting it. All right, that's like way too many cards, spirit. So thank you for your messages. Tell me about this hidden and quitted energy for Virgo. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're on their way. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm on my way. Nothing can stop me. Jesus. Okay. Um, somebody wants to negotiate the painful ending here. Yeah, you ended things with this person. It's dead, gone. It's a loss at this point. You've taken it as a loss. Um, you've taken those L's. You've taken those wounds here. But um, somebody here is wanting to come towards you with a choice. Yeah, the full card. Wanting to come towards you with a choice to start over here and to amend this, this energy. And with the Ten of Pentacles, they, they want it all with you. Okay? They want it all with you. The magician, they're trying to manifest this, Virgo. Um, they're trying to manifest a successful relationship with you. Um, but they would need to be a strong transformation to have this option, and they know that. Um, but now they want to work with you. Justice in the death card, because justice came in. Yeah, this person only wants to work with you now. They only want... Um, to come in now yeah they're only negotiating because they're going through painful endings yeah okay so they fucked around with, a, with an earth angel there's somebody here who hit it and quit it with you took you for granted took you and used you um in some type of way now they're trying to manifest you back because karma is coming in for them they're experiencing deep wounds painful endings betrayals loss they're realizing uh they're getting karma for what they did for you and this is making them want to come towards you to amend this with you so then they can get um financial stability again okay so somebody could have hit it and quit it with you took an advantage of you and lost all their financial stability lost all a bunch of shit gone through a bunch of losses gone through a bunch of painful endings and realized oh i fucked up with a healer i fucked up with somebody who was spiritually uh, inclined and now i'm going through all these things and now i got i gotta go and do whatever i need to do to try to get this back um don't go back with them bro you should be aware of this person they're not doing this for your gain they're not doing this because they love you they're not doing this because they actually want you somebody is just actually doing this for the financial stability somebody's actually just doing this for the opportunity that they could have with you not for you okay defender beggar energy defender beggar energy this is you here begging the divine okay four pinnacles in the reverse begging the divine praying towards the divine um asking for spiritual help here to release someone page of swords in the hierophant okay so spirit is defending you in your absence um bringing justice to your home you've been praying on a way to walk away to release somebody to walk away completely with somebody away from somebody um with the four of co uh, coins in the reverse to release something uh and never pick it back up again um Four coins in the reverse. It could be a greedy, possessive energy. And it, it also talks about protection. You are begging the divine to help you walk away from a greedy, possessive person who is watching you. This could be a tourist, the hyphen energy, or it could be a long-term relationship that you were trapped in. I'm getting that it's a tourist here. And with the page of wands, the two of pentacles, and the ace of uh, swords here, Virgo. Uh, with the page of the page of pentacles, I feel uh, like you desired uh, to balance out this energy. You desire to balance out this energy and to spark something new, to have excitement, to 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 be able to move on. And I and I feel like it ending with the ace of wands. Spirit is telling you that they're going to give you what you want here. They're defending you in your absence, even when you feel alone, even when you feel like there's mountains to climb, even when you feel like you may have to take this person to court, legal situations, you may have to 
You might have to do something crazy to get this person out of your energy. Spirit wants you to know that they're defending you. They're backing you up and you will be successful. You will, you will be celebrating this. All right, with the Ace of Wands, you will get what you want at the bottom here. So Spirit wants you to know that they're hearing your prayers, okay? They're hearing your, your dreams. They hear what you want. They see what's going on. They're watching what's going on. And they will help you release somebody who is watching you, who is stalking you. Um, this Taurus energy who is responsible for something in your life, responsible for making you want to get away from them responsible for putting you in this beggar energy responsible for putting you um in a situation where you're up all night crying begging the divine that for help crying begging the divine to get this person out of your life completely um you're gonna get what you want here all right and that's the spark of the spark of success is here for you spirit will defend you in your absence spirit will defend you when you don't know, even know it spirit will uh spirit is defending you even when you don't know it okay so then on that don't be afraid here um don't let anybody torture you and stalk you uh know that this legal situation will go into your favor that's what i got here for the virgos peace